Darlington did not disappoint. Yesterday was a good race, man. We saw three different races, really. The first 115 laps, the second 115 laps, and the last segment. Denny Hamlin fought his way to the front, took control of the race from his teammate, Christopher Bell. Both of those guys ended up having issues. They kind of recovered, but not really. Denny scored maybe the second or third most points yesterday with those stage wins, so that was big for him. Christopher Bell, not so much. But then I look at Tyler Reddick, and I look at Kyle Larson. Kyle Larson is just, that place was built for him and Tyler Reddick. Right up next to the wall, a couple of inches away, beating and banging off the wall, but never really slowing down. That's that sprint car. That's that midget type racing that those guys grew up on. Great to see what those guys could do. And Kyle Larson checks the Southern 500 off his list. The other thing, Hendrick Motorsports 500th engine shop win. That is huge in this sport. I want you to think about that. They have built engines that have won 500 races. They are on their 299th win as an organization. Those are milestones in the sport that may never be reached again, and we should celebrate that. I looked at yesterday and I thought, another big winner yesterday, Joey Logano. Those guys struggled, they set the front toe, they set the rear toe, he hung in there, they came out with a 12th place finish. Christopher Busher is for real. Listen. This is a team, RFK, that have won three of the last four or five races, whatever it is, uh, on the ovals. They put their car in position to win, and he was right there in the mix. The top four cars finished within one second of each other. That's phenomenal after 367 laps. Big losers for me, Kevin Harvick. Had a great run going and just bad timing, misfortune. Came down pit road as the caution came out and, and caught him behind. Uh, Michael McDowell, I don't think they'll recover from that. So there were winners, there were losers, but the playoffs are on.